Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to talk about rice water. There's so many videos on YouTube that basically is like, grow your hair in a month, grow your hair overnight, grow like five inches in like, some unreasonable amount of time and i just wanted to do this video to talk about some realistic tips and realistic expectations if you're interested in learning about my process for rice water then continue watching so let's get into some disclaimers because we're trying to just level out expectations here first thing is just to remember that the outcome of what you're going to do with rice water is solely going to depend on your hair type your porosity the density and overall genetics there are some people that are going to get amazing results and then there's some people that aren't going to get amazing results just keep in mind that anything that is out of your control is already going to change how your hair is going to react to the rice water now the things you can control are also going to be huge factors that play a role in how your hair responds to rice water the first thing is going to be what kind of rice you use how much rice you're using how much water you're using how long it's fermented and then ultimately what your application process is and how long you are keeping it in your hair. So let's talk about the rice. There are four common types of rice that you can use, whether it be white rice, jasmine rice, brown rice, or black rice. White rice actually has the least amount of protein, vitamins, and minerals overall in general, so it's probably not going to be the best one to use for your hair anyway. Just eliminate that off your list. Jasmine rice comes in two forms, which could either be white jasmine rice or brown jasmine rice. And the difference between those is jasmine rice obviously is a little bit more fragrant since rice water tends to be um, really funky at times. But the difference between the two is white rice in general is going to be processed and a lot of those minerals and vitamins are going to be stripped from the rice itself, which is why it goes through in a rich process. So if you see a label in the store that says enriched rice, that means it's been processed, minerals have been removed, and it has been added back. Brown rice is kind of like your mid-tier rice between white rice and black rice, where it has enough minerals and vitamins for you to get those benefits, but not enough for you to feel like you're not getting enough or it's too much of something. Black rice, I actually haven't tried black rice, but I've heard that it's probably the most in terms of minerals and proteins and vitamins, but it also has the least in terms of smell. The other biggest factor that I just wanted to put out there is, depending on what you put into your rice water is also going to change how your hair feels and what your outcome is. Some people have put lemon slices or orange peels or essential oils, combinations of all of those things all together. They will all contribute into how your hair is going to react. So let's get into the things that I will be using and then you can adjust on your own depending on what you like. You're going to need a measuring cup for your water and for your rice, some type of container that can actually seal in the air during the fermenting process. I just picked up something from the dollar store and works fine. Next, you're going to need your rice. I'm going to be using jasmine brown rice. This is the one that I'm using. I'll try to find it online and link it down below. But this one will actually be a nice start if you're new to rice water because it has a really good in-between and balance of the minerals and vitamins that you'll need for your hair. Next, you'll need what you're going to put into your rice water. I'm using essential oils. This is just a pack that I got off of Amazon. I have insomnia, I use this for aromatherapy, but I'll take about four or five drops of an essential oil and put it into my rice water. In terms of process, this will take you about five minutes and the fermentation process will do everything for you. So in terms of how I make my rice water, I'm using a half a cup of rice, three cups of water, and four to five drops of the essential oil that I'm choosing for the month. Now, what I will say is how long you ferment your rice water is going to definitely change how it affects your hair. I'm going to leave the rice water in a cool, dark place for 48 hours. Okay, so without further ado, let's just get right into the test. So starting with the first video, overall, I'm gonna walk you guys through this first week, but the rest of the clips will be pretty much the same. Just some background on my hair. I have 3C to 4A hair on certain sections of my head. It's on the finer side. What I am gonna be doing throughout this entire time is actually sectioning my hair and putting the rice water into a spray bottle so it's easy to use, and then going section by section, really soaking my hair with that rice water, and I mean soaking like it's dripping down my shoulders, just because I wanna make sure every single strand gets that nutrients. And then because my hair is on the finer side and I didn't want it to be dry or have it snap off, I covered it with a deep conditioner as well. 
The deep conditioner I'm using, I did reference in an empties video. It's the Africa's Best Coconut Cream Restorative Conditioner. And this is actually formulated for dry and brittle hair and helps with breakage. After I go section by section, I'm twisting the hair, putting it away, and then I'm going to cover my head with a plastic cap and then also another cap. One thing I will say is it's really up to you of how long you wanna keep the rice water in your hair. I kept this in my hair for 45 minutes without a hooded dryer. Meaning if you're just going to rely on just the heat from your head, then I'm going to use the rice water for an extended period of time. After I have left the rice water in my hair for 45 minutes, I wash it out. As you can see, my hair just looks very frizzy and it looks like it needs some hydration. I did leave my hair in a microfiber towel for a couple more minutes longer than I probably should have, which also contributes to why it looks so dry. But in terms of a length check, pay attention also to the overall thickness of my hair. If we're just looking at the left side front part of my hair, lengthwise it's a little over 14 inches, but you can see how my hair is measuring overall. Going into the second week, I'm doing the same exact process using the same method of spraying the rice water in each section, twisting it once I'm done, making sure my hair is dripping wet, adding in that same deep conditioner over the top of that before I twist it. And then I kind of spritz a little bit of rice water on top of the twist before I actually put it in the cap. I've done this on and off. I don't really feel like it affected anything over the course of the four weeks, but it was just something I wanted to do so I didn't waste the rice water. Towards the end of that, you can kind of see it's washed out of my hair. It's not as dry as it was the first week just by looking at it. And in terms of how my hair is measuring and using the same section, it's a little over 15 inches. So it's roughly an inch in the span of a week. Overall, I did need a trim for my hair, just FYI, I'm fully aware. I just didn't wanna trim it until after I was done filming for the four weeks. Since then I have trimmed my hair so it looks just about the same as when I started. But let's just keep going. Going into the third week, we're doing the same exact method. I actually ran out of the deep conditioner that I was using for the first two weeks. So I ended up switching for the last two weeks. So in this clip, I'm using the Maui Moisture Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Hair Mask. This one's also formulated for dry and damaged hair, very similar to the Africa Best one. The only difference is that it, my hair does obviously look a little bit whiter because the texture of the deep conditioners are different, but the amount that I was using is exactly the same. I'm going to cover my hair same way, leave it on for 45 minutes and then rinse it out. And my hair looks so much better in terms of the definition and the lack of frizz, which means at some point my hair is responding really, really well to using the rice water on my hair. So so far you can see I am getting some growth and at this point for, compared to the first week going into the third week you can definitely see a difference in the thickness of my hair as well as the length. My hair is measuring a little over 16 and a half going into 17 inches which is about two to two and a half inches more than where I started in the first week. Going into the last week same as normal same exact process sectioning the forehair sectioning my hair, using the rice water, using that same Maui Moisture Deep Conditioner over the twist, and then we'll just jump right into the measurements since you guys are already familiar with this process. I did rush through measuring because I was, at this point I was kind of already over the rice water. So basically my hair didn't grow much between the third and the fourth week. I still landed around 16 and a half to 17 inches. So just to wrap up this video, do I think rice water works for your hair? Yes. Do I think it gives you massive growth you've never seen before? Probably not. I think overall rice water is just a really good protein treatment. It's a really good like pick me up for your hair if you haven't done a protein treatment in a really long time. But yeah, that's basically it. If you guys are interested in seeing more rice water videos or if you want me to try black rice on my hair for a month, please like this video, comment down below and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.